Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my dogs, Booby, Pilou, and Wolfie, we live in my self-built camper van, and we are navigating van life and making it our own. Come along as we say yes to new van vengers. Hi, welcome back to a new video. Uh, I'm starting this video on Monday evening, and I have a couple of days off, and there's a thing I would like to do, but I'm dreading, which is repainting the van. But for people who have been following me for a while, like from the beginning, know that in March last year, I moved into the van. I got color stress. I started, I had a paint job in the van that I, I didn't like and I decided to change it but I changed it like three or four times before I found this color which means that this color that you see behind me is a color that I made myself with mixing all of um, a lot of colors together until I got a color that I liked because I bought like four paints and I thought I'm not gonna buy anymore I'm just gonna start mixing until I have what I want and I did I barely had enough but I don't know what color that is and I want the exact same color because I love it still and it matches perfectly with everything. So what I need to do is I need to go to the uh, hardware store <laughs> and ask them if they have color. They have these little books with we, the Dutch word is kleurwaier. It means a lot of these these sheets of color. I don't know how to explain it. If I, if I find it, I'll show it to you. But this thing that has all of these colors in it so I can put it against my <laughs> so I can put it against the wall and see what color it is so I can have it mixed and then comes the ordeal of painting everything it's not that much work but it means I have to take everything out everything off these are glued on in a perfect space that I do not want to have in any other space. So I would have to take them off, remember where they were. <laughs> I'm already dreading it, but I'm gonna be fine. But a lot of the paint is chipping. It is just, it's a small space and I've been living in it for a year and a half. So just, it's getting worse. So I have, I kind of want to paint it. I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing that. I don't know if you can hear by my voice. I'm recovering. I've been sick for f four days, like cold and recovering for three days now, but it's going to be perfect weather for the painting. So I think even though I'm not all that well at the moment, it will be a good thing to do it. So this will be the video <laughs> of me repainting my bed. <laughs> I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so warm. I'm not in the mood for painting, but I think I'm going to be doing it. Okay, so let's go do it. Hey everyone, so it's the next day. I went to the store, to the Gamma in the Netherlands, in the Zoetermeer, and they have these. This is what I was trying to tell you guys about yesterday. The Kleurwire. This is what I meant by that. But let me show you, it's so hard to get the right color. Let me show you, okay? It's falling apart, but let me show you. It's really hard to see the difference. I think it might be closer to this one, but I really like this one. I think this one might be a little bit too dark, but that one might be a little bit too um, white. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I really like that one. But it's really easy if you have all of these colors. Okay, look at my hair, guys. It's really growing. <laughs> because it is... It's such a mess with the van, but that's okay. Because it is a color that I mix myself, I think that this color comes closest. The one, it's called 1060. Oh, I can't show you, but that one. I think that one comes closest to what I need. I think I'm just gonna get that paint. But now I have to figure out how much paint I need. How much square 
meter is this? And how many layers do I need to do? Ah, you guys, I don't know. Okay, let's go get it. I'm still, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a wonderful end result. I'm just not looking forward to doing this chore. It's going to be a hassle, but it's going to be great in the end. Okay, so I'm having my paint mixed and I'm in luck because they have 50% off on the paints. And now I need, I need some stuff. I need, I need this. <laughs> but I need to figure out which one I need. I need the plaster, what's it called? The filler stuff because I need to fill some chisels. I'm gonna have a look around. Oh, I wanna bring you guys along, but I have to focus on what I'm looking at. Yeah, I need this, I think. Ooh, that looks weird. <laughs> Let me just get some stuff and I'll get back to you. So we just arrived at the place that we're gonna work, you're gonna be working on the van. There's these really cute cows here and a lot of geese. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're back there. <laughs> we have a lot of space here to roam, so we can put all of our stuff there tomorrow. I have some stuff to put the cabinets on. Why are they making this much noise? I don't see them, I just hear them. And I got the paint, I got the, the rollers, I got all the things, the brushes. But now what I need to do is do the gunk, or what is it called, kit, or plaster, I don't know what it's called. But I have to fix the things that need to dry so I can paint it tomorrow. So let's go do that. Okay, so first things first, I'm wearing my beautiful new dress. I need to take this dress off and put on my painting gear. Okay, so I'm wearing my old shirt that already has paint on it to do the painting. I wanted to have the light on, but I don't know if that should. I'm gonna show you the things that I really need to, that I really want to fix. Such a mess, but I, uh, okay. Let me show you what broke that I need to fix up. So here, it started to crack. So I'm going to fill that up. Here the paint is coming off because I use this all the time. Here. Here, it's just coming off. There's also this place. This wall consists out of two pieces and the line between them is here. And I fixed that. It looked pretty great, but for some reason, I don't know moisture or anything, it is breaking up so I need to take that off and plaster it back up and hopefully that'll do the trick because I hate that line that's there. Another thing I've been ha getting questions about is the finish of this wood. If it's keeping up, if it's holding up, let me show you what's happened. It is starting to slightly crack just a little bit and this, I never really finished this this well. But down here it's still being good, it's still doing great. But up there it's it's not doing too good. And here's the same, not here, down here is okay. But here, I need to fix this too. And a chunk came off here just two days ago. So I need to fix this and fix that. So it's 6.30 on Tuesday evening. And I want to paint tomorrow, so I have to do these things today. So I'm going to go into the back of the van and see what else I have, because it's kind of a like a rush chore, but I just figured it's going to be good weather. I have some time. I was thinking I was going to leave it for the next travel I'm going to be on, but I've got some time, so why not just fix it? So we're going to be doing it. I hope I have everything I need, and that's going to be great, because I will be very happy if it's going to be done. I hear baby chicks. Hey, Wolf. Aw, oh, there's baby chicks here. Okay, so I think the paint I chose today is the right color, but when he opened it up to show me, it looked a little bit blue, icy blue. So I'm going to do a test strip on the inside of the back doors. So if it doesn't match up, it's not that bad. <laughs> but I want to be sure tomorrow so that I can have like a test trip to see if it's good because I'm not gonna be doing the same thing with having to <laughs> with having to paint it all over again. We're not gonna be doing that guys. So I'm going to do a test trip in the back first. <laughs>
bed is a whole lot of mess. Stuff is here, stuff is in the front, stuff is even outside. This is pretty okay because I need sleeper. I got some chips, but crisps. It is a whole lot of mess. Everything is messy. There's <laughs> I hadn't even showed you that. There's cardboard there to keep out the light, but I got fabric. We're gonna make a little curtain for the window, but <laughs> I just pointed at it and I thought, what the hell's that? If I haven't even shown you that, it's cardboard. Anyway, it's a mess and it's gonna get worse. And I'm so happy I did a test swap because swap a test paint thingy because it's not the same color. I think it's more blue. Tomorrow I'm gonna look at it in better in normal light again. And I have two options. Either I go... <laughs> I have three options. Either I go back, find a different color, have that color made. Or I just paint this on. Because I like the color. It's just a different color. And I'm afraid I'm not going to like it in the end. The third option is I take this part off of the door. Because I can screw that off. Take it into the store. And then they have this scanner. I can scan what color it is. Have that color made. I have to get all the whole thing off. I could do that. There, yeah. I could do all of those things. But for now, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna watch True Blood. I've been watching True Blood. I love that series. I'm gonna watch True Blood, then go to sleep, then hopefully have a quiet night. Wolfie usually still needs to go out at night. She's 18 weeks now, and she's gone back to needing to go out at night okay so we're doing that and then tomorrow i'll have a fresh mind we'll decide what to do i have to i can't i do i can't, i can't get started on the kitchen and all the bottom parts because i know that's the right color i just don't have the exact oh and there's also an issue i cannot get these off that's not good i wanted to get them off paint then put them back on i can't i glued them on with the stuff and i just can't get off so i need to have like something sharp that i can get behind i glued it on very sturdy because i knew it it's just glued so it shouldn't come off it's not coming off which is great although if you want it to come off so i need to think about that I, if i leave it on i'm gonna touch the stone with paint which is gonna infuriate me so i just need to figure out how to do that but yeah all in all we're getting there i uh put some uh, of the kit in here there were just some things that i got annoyed by that weren't finished properly which i started finishing so hopefully that'll all be great we'll think about it i'm too tired we'll think about it I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the chaos that is my life. I am back at the store, at the Hummel store. I took out the part of the inside of the sliding door and took it inside of the store. He scanned it and it turned out that it was what the scanner says that is an indication of the color, which could match the color, is one color higher than the color I got yesterday. So one color darker which looked very dark, but that might be the right one. And then I saw another color that looked a little bit similar. So I got to, so I had two testers made. So now I'm going to put these, this, I think this one is too green, but I really liked it. So I figured let's check it out. But I do think this might be the one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit on the back door where I put the other uh, sample. I'm going to let it sit and dry a little bit.
Now to me this is bonkers because the other, if you see it on the paper, they barely look different. If you put them on the wall, they're extremely different. This one is way too dark. That one is super green. So this one might still be the one that comes closest. But it's a bit too blue for my taste. Oh, freaking we're back to the color stress that I had last year. Hey, okay. Progress shot. A lot of it is out. There's so much stuff in the van. It's unbelievable. Half of the kitchen is out. Can't really cut the kitchen doors out, so I'll just leave them in. Look at all the stuff that's in the van. It's a good time to see what I want to keep in, because if you take everything out, it is a shit ton. So, um, it's a... Oh, and it's not even all out yet, but it's a good time to... <laughs> Reassess what I would like to keep in the van and what can go out, what can come out. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm not really vlogging because I'm listening to True Blood as I'm doing it. So I don't get too much in my head and quit. <laughs> because all of this preparation, I have to cover up my laptop so it's not in the sun. All of this preparation altogether is taking me so long and I'm getting... I'm getting cold feet because I also have to put everything back together and everything and stuff and shh. let's just keep taking everything out.
Hey, so it's now, look at my eyes, 10 past 7, and I'm putting everything back. So I'm putting the handles back on, I'm putting everything back in the van. I'm not there yet. I was going to sort it out, but people came. The kid I babysit for, he came here with his grandpa and his nephew, and they're going to do this whole sleeping out in the wilderness at night underneath the stars, which is going to be great. So I'm packing up to leave, um, but I do know I'm going to do spring cleaning because I'm putting everything back and I'm thinking, why do I have this much stuff? I think I can downsize again. <laughs> we'll be doing that, but it looks great. It wasn't exactly the same color. It's a little bit more minty, but it's almost the same color. It's just the other one was a little bit more grayish, but... I love it. It's perfect. And I put everything back. I'm hanging that back. Those are the only things I couldn't take off, so I taped them over. Put everything back. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I'm tired. Tomorrow I'm going to sew some stuff to... Oh, I got a surprise. Well, I got myself a gift, which is a surprise for you guys to show you. I'll show you tomorrow, but I'm just putting everything back. I said that like 10 times now, I think. Oh! <sighs> It's just a lot of stuff. Okay, so this video is going to be a two-part or either three-part series. Um, I finished everything, but because I did a lot of other things as well, I cannot show you the finished result now because then I'm spoiling everything that I'm doing as well. <laughs> so this is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next video, I'll be showing you how I finish branches. I'm putting new branches in the van and how I'm making a little curtain. So that's either going to be a two-part or a three-part series. And then I'm going to show you the finished result of the entire... It's not really a makeover, it's like a maintenance thing on the fan, but it's beautiful. Thank you guys for your patience and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new fan ventures.